Welcome everyone to another episode of Mass Effect Pre-Up. I'm your host, Scottish 82 and I'm going to be talking about some of the news that came out at PAX. Firstly, let's get the big one out of the picture. The winner of the uh, Female Shepherd default, uh, well, the, basically the default Shepherd winner, is the Redhead Shepherd. Yeah, fuck yeah, Redheads fucking rule the world. <laughs> um, I, that's the one I voted for, and I'm really glad that one did. It's going to be, uh, will probably be the Shepherd I will use. Um, not as my first playthrough, probably as my female Shepherd playthrough. Um, either that or I'll keep the hair out, I'll go with the red hair, because that, that colour of red hair is very nice. Uh, we'll change a few things up. Uh, oh, another thing. Stubble's back. So my beard should be back fairly shortly, guys, because I did see one of the comments says I'll look better with it. <laughs> um, but the Redhead Shepherd won, so that's pretty damn awesome. Um, it's a shame, unfortunately, if I, they were given away um, 8 by 10s of the, um, the the artist, the fan art contest that won her, um, who won the fan art contest and got a job for Bioware, basically, and done a fan art, done a art style of it and the style that he does it, which is fucking amazing, I must admit. And uh, I, I was like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> a lithograph and an 8 by 10 signed by Jennifer Hale. Which I was like, fuck you. <laughs> I really want. I wish I could have got one, but I wasn't there, and they weren't giving away giving them away on Twitter. So unfortunately, unlucky me. Um, there wasn't much else revealed, um, except for just some newbie bits and bobs. Uh, they showed a bit more of the character customization with your leveling up ability, and it looks a lot more detailed and a lot more roleplay. Like in Mass Effect Two. Uh, it was like four levels, one, two, three, four, and then that's it. And this one, the, you, each sort of like special ability has its own subsection of abilities. Like, do you want it to do more damage? Do you want it to cool down faster? Do you want to have a bigger range? Do you want to have a bigger radius? And it looks like it very, very well done, I must admit, because it looks like it could possibly enhance the role-playing ability of the game, which I'm really looking forward to, because that means more and more... Uh, car more and more customization and more and more variation in the characters and why the hell does this light keep flickering on and off? Sorry. Stop it! <laughs> um, but it does, it looks very interesting and they did show a bit of it off and I'll be back in a minute but I'm not fucking playing one. Stop it! <laughs> um, but it does look very interesting. A lot more customization variation in the game should be a very interesting way to take forward how to play Mass Effect and giving you more role playing choice as well, which is always a plus. Uh, they only showed the show soldier doing it, and it looked very interesting because they showed the concussive shot. Like you've got three levels, and then you've got sub levels, which basically you can only choose one on each side. So you could say you got all the three levels, and then you say, "Wait, I want my." Concussive shot to have a bigger radius. You have to choose between power and radius, and you go radius. Then the next level below that will be cooldown time and something else. Can't remember it all, but it looks very interesting. There will be a lot more role playing variation, which is always a plus. So it's taking the best parts from Mass Effect and the best parts from Mass Effect Two and putting them all together in Mass Effect Three, which looks fucking amazing. I must admit. And by the way, there is a looting system in it this time. Yes. I wasn't. I was okay with the style that they done it in Mass Effect 2. Go to the shops, buy, bang guns, line about, stuff like that. It made it a lot easier. But if there's a looting system now, I don't know how in depth the looting system will be. I don't think it will be as in depth as say Dragon Age's looting system. But I think it will possibly uh, maybe have you searching crates, uh, maybe even occasionally searching a body. Stuff like that. It's really difficult to say what the looting system will be in Mass Effect, because it won't be in it, just a cut and paste from uh, Dragon Age. It will be a completely different way of taking it, so it could be very interesting. Uh, uh, th there was some other wee stuff. Um, unfortunately for you PS3 owners, I got some bad news. If you haven't played Mass Effect 2 and you're hoping for maybe a Mass Effect comic for Mass Effect 3, They've said that that's not going to happen. I'm sorry, Matt, sorry, but I'll double check it because I, I think it is. That was the news. Uh, shit, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, yeah, I think it, that was that, that's what it said basically. That unfortunately for the PS3 owners, uh, you won't be uh, 
you won't have the comic. And oh, I just so I haven't, haven't really been following it. The, the thing at packs have been busy playing this. <laughs> um, but I just had a wee quick look through the Mass Effect 3 news Twitter. Um, if you want to follow that, because it gives you all things, you all, all news it. It's uh, twitter.com forward slash hashtag explanation mark forward slash me3 news. Um, by the way, there's some news. There's some news. You know, like in a previous video, I showed you a picture of James Sanders, and I said that's possibly James Vega. It actually turns out that that's not James Vega, which is like, <clears throat> so who the fuck is that? And they're not even revealing who the fuck it is. And I'm like, tell me who it is. Tell me who it is. Tell me who it is. Because the voice actor sounds so familiar. So my previous video was null and void, in fact, because so so that means he's not James Vega. Then who the fuck is he? I want to know who the fuck that guy is on top of there. Is he going to be a party member? Is it? Oh, excuse me. Is it just going to be a, a random character you bump into? Are you going to go to London? I don't know. It's it's t difficult to say. Well, uh, by the way, if we are going to London, can you possibly maybe put a couple of husks and English top hats and maybe the Queen? I could always use a target practice. <laughs> um, but that's that was very that's very interesting. It's quite a oh what the fuck? Who the fuck is he? Um, we all we all know what James Regal looks like. That's the more news that's came out. Uh, Back to the Mass Effect comic uh, Mass Effect 3 on PS3 will not be getting a comic like Genesis, unfortunately, so if you want to have a bit of backstory, go and get the Genesis comic and play Mass Effect 2. Simple as. Um, what else is there? Uh, duh, 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 duh. Uh, Genesis 2 will not be necessarily what will well, well, work with a PS3 comic in the past. Ooh. Uh, oh, and uh, well, there's also other wee things that came out. Some very interesting ideas. They didn't really give anything brand spanking new. Um, they did show some new gameplay. They did show you fighting the uh, the new mech in it. And I must admit, this is going to be one hell of a boss mini boss battle because it looks pretty fucking badass. Um, the way that it moves is very mechish. What else can I say? Um, but it's also showed a bit of its attacks. It's got a rocket launcher, machine gun, a grab a grab claw. And also has a defensive mechanism which basically shrouds it in a shell of smoke. A shell of smoke, sorry. And makes it more difficult to hit. So, that's actually pretty interesting. It could be very cool to see how they take that. Uh, so, they did, that's basically the, the most news. They also did show the, on the live stream, which unfortunately I did miss because I was kind of busy playing DSX. Um, they did show the starting menu for Mass Effect 3. Now, now, we all know that this is probably not the final project, the final start menu. But it did show basically Earth and a couple of space stations up there, uh, showing around there. Uh, that's basically most of the news that came out. Um, oh, watch. Did not mean to do that. Um, so it's there. Uh, not a lot more came out, uh, but there was some. There was a lot of good, good stuff that came out. Uh, all I can really say is this game looks pretty badass, fucking ass, and I can't really wait to play it. But unfortunately, I have to I have to wait three days longer than you Americans. Damn you! <laughs> but um, it's it's quite quite cool, and uh, should be very interesting to see how it how the Mass Effect how it evolves and how they'll take. The new step in the in the Mass Effect series. How will they finally finish all this off? They did also give wee subtle hints to what possibly could be in Mass Effect Four or Mass Effect Four and onwards. Says that we are having some minor talks about it. Oh, excuse me. They also did um, a wee subtle hint that you will get to tell the council members. I fucking told you so. Told you so. I fucking told you so. Yeah. That's going to be fucking fucking badass. We all know we're all going to do it. We're all going to go... Right. I just fucking spent... What? Three... Three years fighting these fucking Reapers. And you didn't believe me until they were on your fucking doorstep. And now you want my help? Ah! I would, I would be half tempted to go... Go fuck yourself. But I'm a Paragon, unfortunately. I have to be nice. I'm nice. Paragon action. 
and they also did say that the Paragon actions will be more badass. Because, let's face it, the, Ma the in Mass Effect 2, the best actions were the Renegade actions. I'm going to say it right here, here right now. I do three Renegade actions in the entire game because I absolutely love them. One doing, Gar doing Archangel's mission, the other one doing Miranda's lawyer mission, and the other one uh, during uh, Warden's lawyer mission. Uh, the Paragon ones were more... Don't do it. Don't calm down. Stop. Don't kill this person. You you don't want to end up like him. Um, so that was quite. Uh, if there are going to be more badass Paragon actions as well, that'd be quite interesting. They also did say I, I, I did actually forget to mention this in my last video because it was it then. Um, but basically that what you think could be a Paragon action, you could completely think, okay, right, this is what's going to happen. Um, if I do this Paragon action, they'll completely do a 180. And they'll be like, oh shit, I did, I did not know that was going to happen. Previous save, previous save. <laughs> um, so it could be quite interesting to see how they do that. So that's about all. Uh, it's been really rounded up on uh, Mass Effect at PAX. It's still going on, I think. Um, they did also give me more hints of po possible party banter. They didn't say anything like, well, who's going to say this? But they did say that they might be party, party banter, which could be quite awesome. I think they are going to have it. Um, so it could be quite interesting. And also, an interesting bit of trivia, and this is on the Mass Effect 3 news thing, I thought, why not put it on um, for, why not say it on here for a laugh? It's a bit of trivia. Uh, Rannoch, the Quarian homeworld, was probably inspired by Rannoch Moor, located in Scotland, also the location of Castle McDuck. Booyah! Scottish! The Quarians are Scottish. Yes. We're going to kick some fucking ass. <laughs> uh, so I just had to get that in there. Um... Also, I want to put a little something out there. This is like maybe a long shot, but if any of the people, any of the clan members out there happen to be good at impressions and can do Mass Effect impressions, um, I was wondering if anyone would be, now this is open to everyone, uh, would be interested in possibly making up some party banner. Uh, I've got some in mind, unfortunately, I'm not that good at impressions, unfortunately. Uh, all, you, all you have to do is um, write down some party banner and make a video response to this. Um, and we'll see what happens. And even if you're not good at impressions, pick your favourite character and do a couple. And uh, maybe I'll put them in my next video, uh, or a couple of videos later, as a submission for a possible Mass Effect 3 party banner. And uh, let's see how many we can get. All are welcome. Anyone is welcome to join it. Feel free to, if you're not a member of the clan already, feel free to click that subscribe button up above. And uh, let's see if we can get some good... Mass Effect 3 party banner suggestions. Um, I will do a video on some of my suggestions, but um, I'm still working on them a little bit. Uh, so overall, that's all the news that came out of PAX so far. Uh, I will give you any news comes up. I will go and tell you anything about it, and uh, hopefully, uh, you uh, like this video. And I'm looking forward to seeing submissions for possible party banner. Um, you don't need to do a video response if you don't want to. Feel free to put a comment down below, but it would be much more interesting if you've done it as a video response. So, uh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, uh, oh, I should probably mention this. Um, got a lot of bad news. I am starting back at college on Tuesday. So, there will probably be a wee bit shortage of videos this week. If any breaking news comes out for Mass Effect 3 and you want me to talk about it, email me or comment. Uh, send a message in my inbox or comment down below. And I will get to it as soon as I can, okay? Uh, so, otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to, um, if you enjoyed this video, feel free, if you enjoyed this video and you don't want to leave a comment, feel free to leave a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video and you don't want to leave a thumb, don't want to leave a comment, click the thumbs down button. And if you want to see more videos by, by, by Scottish Warrior 92, feel free to click the subscribe button above my hair. And as always, I hope you enjoyed it. And Scottish Warrior 92, ciao for now, clan. See you all later. Mwah.